Hey YouTube, here's a video about uh, the latest autopilot, how it handles the roads. It says MCU-1 AP 2.5 hardware, so there is no stop light or stop sign recognition. It won't actually, well, I guess it, I take that back. It does have recognition, but it won't uh, stop light recognition, but it won't actually stop at stop signs or stop lights. So good. Finds a lane. You got a yellow light and you get the warning. So it will recognize that there is a red light. It did alert me that I was going too fast, that I needed to stop. And so I did apply the brake was able to stop. We'll come up here and get on the freeway and see how it does. So let's see how it handles the on-ramp. It's slowing down about 19 miles an hour and it's slowly picking up speed. We're at 40 on the on ramp. Navigate on autopilot is on. Autopilot is on. Let's see how it merges. We're still doing 40 miles an hour. It still shows us doing 40 even though it says the speed limit is 65, so let's raise this up, 65, okay. So far it's lane centering. speed up just a little bit. See how it does. You can see it picks up all four lanes on the highway. There's actually five lanes. Does it pick up five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it does. Coming up to our exit here in about a half a mile. So far flawless. It's initiating the turn signal to change lanes to get over to the exit. Still maintaining the 75 mile an hour speed. We're approaching another car. It's starting to apply the brakes. It is now signaling Merging to the off-ramp and trailing the car in front, slowly braking, coming down to an appropriate speed for this turn. Speed limits read by Tesla is 40 miles an hour, <clears throat> making this turn easy peasy, pretty smooth. Not too jerky. It says autopilot, navigate on autopilot ending in 400 feet. Autopilot did not have any errors on this trip so far. No 
no immediate takeover is required. So it's now slowing down to 30. It's phantom braking on its own down to 20 miles an hour. It's almost completely stopping. Okay. Press accelerator to resume. I guess that's what I wanted me to do. All right. And we're taking our exit. Will it take it? Will it take it? No, it missed our exit actually. We wanted to go right there, but it missed it. Well, that's because navigate on autopilot wasn't on, so that was, I guess, uh, user error. So we'll continue on our mission. See where it takes us. And slow it down. We got a 40 mile an hour speed limit here. We're gonna disengage autopilot as we're coming out the freeway. Beautiful day at the beach. It's just a little cloudy. turn so say hey, take over all right we'll re-engage autopilot still unavailable and here we go now there are no lane markings looks like they're repaving this road so we'll see how autopilot picks up the lane markers even though there are technically none on the road there's a few chalk lines driven or written in uh but not not a solid line by any means let's see will it go straight or will it follow that car or go straight okay all right doing well so far find a spot and turn around at the next uh outlet. There we go. Disengage autopilot. still engaged and we are in the bike lane oh it almost hit that sign it was going couldn't couldn't tell where the lines were there's no lane marker so that's why you always got to pay attention even with autopilot engaged always have a hand on the wheel got a car coming up it's gonna pull out it does there's nothing Three lanes here, I think that's still a bike lane. Yeah, that's still a bike lane, but... Okay. We're actually gonna turn right here. Okay, <clears throat> we're turning back onto Coast Highway. We will engage autopilot. Let's see how we do. So definitely struggled a little bit there where the lane markings were not clearly uh, solid or, or visible which is to be expected, but for the most part, it did fairly well. It did really extremely well where the lane markings were actually visible. Okay, let's 
Let's see which way it's gonna take us. It wants us to go that way. We're gonna go this way. Let's engage autopilot again. Okay. Nice cruise down Pacific Coast Highway. over there it's pretty uh gray and gloomy out there but let's pick up the speed we got a 45 speed limit so as you can see this is a clearly marked Two lane road, two lane highway, and autopilot is doing a great job of recognizing the lane and staying within. We will need to get over when I engage the left turn signal. Will it change lanes? No, it will not. Ah, it will, yes, thank goodness. Okay. That was a manual engagement of the lane change. Getting their night ride in. All the ocean front houses. Dana Point. Capitol Beach. So far, so good. Up to speed here. Let's see if we can do some uh, ludicrous mode. Driving ludicrous. Perfect. All right. Maybe we get a red light up here. We'll do a little acceleration. Run. 86 miles left from range. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's check out the supercharger. Let's navigate to there. It's all MCU1. It's definitely slow and it lags, but it does work. You just gotta be patient. Okay, we got braking up here. We've got a lane split. And successfully made it. Pacific Ocean. So again, this is not navigate on autopilot. We are on city streets, even though we're on Pacific Coast Highway. You can see all the vehicles picked up by the Tesla screen as they approach and pass. Speed limit there recognized at 45. Also recognized by the Tesla computer on the display. We'll be making a left turn up here shortly. And since we did uh, search for the supercharger, able to know that we're going to a supercharger so there's preconditioning the battery fast charging so let's get it nice and warmed up for us so we can get the highest speed possible 
when we arrive at the uh, the charger. Okay, I'm gonna disengage so we can turn left here. And I'll turn off cruise control. Car will come to a big slowdown. That's the thing with this uh, uh, pre-Raven Model S is it does, won't actually stop at zero for you. You have to actually put your foot on the brake if you want it to completely stop. Whereas it's not true one pedal driving. It'll go to a roll and go to about one mile an hour and you'll actually have to press the brake pedal for it to stop. Okay, let's see here. Back on autopilot engaged. We're gonna make a left turn up here. Check out these San Clemente Outlet Supercharger. The car is doing all the braking. It slows down to about, let's see what it gets to. Three, two, one. We're gonna do about a mile an hour. We are on a slight hill, so we're gonna come up here and stop. a chiropractor when you have a P100D, huh? Okay, let's check it out. This is the fastest way to the supercharging station in San Clemente. It's true, not widely used. Not a ton of people here. So we will park and check it out. Normally this pre-COVID, this supercharging station was completely packed. I mean, rarely, rarely, very rarely would you ever find an open space. Okay, like a glove. We are there. Turn and park. Let's go charge this sucker up. Here's the view from the outlets. Supercharger station. Nice overlook of San Clemente. And there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.